Hey, how y'all doing, baby? It is Wednesday. I want to right off the bat apologize for missing Monday and Tuesday. It's been a, rec a rather hectic week already, but I can see where it is coming to an end here pretty soon. Uh, today, I did my last running around having to pick up some documents I needed and uh, put them all in a little package. Tomorrow, I'll drop them off, and then I will be done. All I will be sitting around waiting for other information to hit the fan. But uh, but I apologize for the last few days and want to make it clear right off the bat, Mama is fine. Mama had to go to the doctor, that's all. I uh, had to get a, a renew on her prescription and whatnot, and uh, we got that done, and, and she wants you all to know that uh, she is fine and dandy. As a matter of fact, she's cooking me supper right now, so that's how come I'm not going live is because I'm already, it is, ha, huh, 425, missed it by four minutes, wouldn't have made a difference anyway. Can't do what you ain't got. Anyway, it's Wednesday, baby, and it's a damn good day for a beer. So, uh, what's going on in our world, do you say? Shit. What country are you talking about? United States, or are we talking about Trumpistan? Because that's where we live right now. Donnie doesn't want you to see any of the Mueller report. Hell, I got a copy right there. I guess I got to stop reading it. Because Donnie has now it, it, it claimed executive privilege over the whole thing. Everything. The Mueller report, the underlying evidence, everything has to do with this case. Donnie is now exclaiming that he has executive privilege. Nobody can look at this shit anymore. Yeah, we're under attack, baby. We're under attack by the man that, that Putin, that Vladimir Putin put in our house. This man is nothing but a traitor to his country, and he is he is he is getting the aid of the Republican Party to do it, to attack our, our very institutions, baby. Follow a subpoena? Hell no, Barr ain't got to follow a subpoena. Up your, you ain't getting nothing, baby. And it's following in his family. The Senate Intel Committee wants, wants subpoena Donnie Jr. Donnie Jr. says, up yours, baby, ain't doing it. You see a trend here. Steve Mnuchin, same thing. Up your butt, you ain't getting shit. It's in the law. Well, they don't care what the law is. They don't give a shit what the Constitution says. Not a damn word of it. We are in a constitutional crisis. Hell, we're in a battle for our country, for our democracy, baby. There is no other way to put this shit. You want to see a dictator in action? You're looking at him up there. He thinks he can complain. Just cover everything. Presidential shit for everything. Pissed off, people. I'm pissed because, because they are. They're flipping the finger in our face. Today. For only the second time, and I believe in our history, the Attorney General has been held into contempt of the, of the House, in, the, in contempt, because he will not turn over. There's my baby. She's whispering to me. That's her way of whispering. Uh, the House has subpoenaed the full, unredacted version of the Mueller report, and Barr refuses to turn it over. And now Donnie doesn't want Mueller testifying. He doesn't want... Dan again testifying. He wants everybody to be silent now after he runs around after the Mueller report was made to give him to Barr talking about how exonerated he is and how it completely, it, it, no collusion, no obstruction bullshit. The damn book is full of, of obstruction. We need lawmakers that are going to do their job. This is the first step. I don't give a shit. As far as I'm concerned, you can start impeachment pro proceedings today. Let's start deciding on the articles of impeachment because if we don't do that, he is going to erode this whole country's democracy down to shit. Her whole damn thing has done nothing. This whole cabinet, everybody he assigns is nothing but a loyalist Trump fanatic willing to throw their own integrity down in the toilet in support of this con man a con man wasn't there a story in the New York Times or somewhere been in the truck all day but I have been listening to the news they found out Donnie's not such a great businessman are you shitting me are you shitting me the man the art of the deal man the greatest mind in the world the greatest businessman in the world dumped over a billion dollars in losses 
Are you shitting me? That's not a businessman. That's a con man. He hasn't paid any tax. In eight of the ten years they looked at, he paid zero taxes, baby. Why? Because he lost all that money. And there's a loophole for businessmen that lose all their freaking money. That means they get to claim a personal income, and that's not taxed because they lost all the money. Oh, poor pitiful me. No, we found out he's a pauper, and guess who's buying his ass? Russia bought his ass. That's what, that's what the fight for the taxes is all about. This whole argument about seeing his taxes is to see where his income comes from after his little weenie-wide mouse of a son wormed his little mouth out there. Oh, we're getting lots of money from Russia. We're getting all the financing we need from Russia. And then all of a sudden when he runs, all of a sudden it's all, oh, we don't know about Russia. We have no dealings with Russia. We don't have any business with Russia. We find out that's bullshit. He had deals with Russia. He's got condos for sale all over the freaking place for Russians. Are you shitting me? That's money laundering, baby. That's how he does it. And that's what he doesn't want you to see. It's not about how come he didn't pay any taxes. He brags that he didn't make any taxes. He doesn't have to. Smart people don't pay taxes. Are you shitting me? Only dumb working people do that. Because dumb working people don't have a loophole in the tax system for some write off for some bullshit that you don't have to you don't have to pay taxes for ten years. Are you shitting me? You get a deal like that? I damn sure didn't. It's in the tax laws, baby. And until we get a representation government in there that represents the people and not the big business, not the big corporations, those that are making it filthy rich without paying a dime in taxes, out the same time absorbing everything this country has to offer, freeloaders, that's what they are. Job creators, my ass. They're not job creators, they're thieves, they're robber barons. I see where Adam Schiff has introduced a constitutional amendment to overturn Citizens United. That's the work we should be doing, people. That's the work that require is required business in our house. But we but we can't do that because we got a dictator up there. We got a wanna be glorious leader. And everybody in the Republican Party, I listened to him today. That Jim well, Jordan's that Jordan where oh, wherever the hell he's from, that that asshole sitting there pulling his panties up at his ass all about Hillary Clinton and Peter Strokes and all this this conspiracy against Donnie. Did you read the report, Mr. Jordan? Because if you did, Donnie was in bed with the Russians all over the place, baby, and he reveled in it. He expected it. He loved it, and so did Vladimir Putin. So did the Russians, baby. That's who our president is working for. Have no mistake. Of course he didn't bring up it, election meddling in, on the phone call the other day. He wants it. He's depending on it to stir the little cockroaches in this world, to stir them up. Oh, look, your president is under attack from those evil Democrats that are trying to uphold the Constitution. And only a scum-sucking rat would try to, to subvert the Constitution. Only, only a disgusting maggot on the ass of society would attempt to circumvent the law with some kind of presidential excuse for this bullshit or that bullshit. Nobody can hear anything. Really? When did the guy get investigated decide who gets to see the investigation? That's what it is. We have, we have self-fulfilling prophecy here. He declares himself innocent. Can we see the evidence? No, baby. It's none of your business. It's all private. 14 ongoing investigations, baby. This man is nothing but a thief, a con man, a liar, a cheat, anything else you want to call him, that's him. And the Republican Party to stand there and defend this shit, they are complicit in it, baby. They are, com they, they are accomplices in this, in this overthrow of our government, of our democracy, baby. That's what they're trying to do, overturn our government. Our, our constitutional right to a government of the people, for the people, and by the people. These aren't our people, baby. These are Russians up there. If they got an R next to my, their name, that means Russian nowadays because that's who they're protecting. They're protecting Vladimir Putin. They're, they're protecting this grand plan to sell us all off to Russia for some bullshit so Donnie can make a whole bunch of money because Putin probably... Probably guaranteeing he's gonna be get to be he's gonna get to be an oligarch, baby. 
of the United States. All the all the money made in the United States will go through Donnie's hands, baby. That's a that's a hell of a good plan, ain't it? Fifteen shootings this year in schools. I heard on the radio there that there's been thirty five school shootings. This school season, this school term, 35, and we watched it again yesterday, and we're still dealing with this every day. Another school, another church, another synagogue is put at risk every day that the lawmakers in our house refuse to act, and that can be laid at the feet of Mitch McConnell. There are gun legislation bills sitting on the floor of the Senate right now. The, 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 the maggot that is Mitch McConnell, the disgusting turd of a man that is, is, is akin to Donnie in that respect, fails to let him go on, on the Senate floor. We don't have to vote on that stuff. It's up to Mitch. It's up to Mitch McConnell in the state of Kentucky whether or not our nation progresses with background checks, with common sense gun laws. Hell no, we can't do all that. Because the National, Rus the National Russian Alliance the NRA, the National Russian Alliance, has those Republican senators and congressmen by the balls, baby, and they're squeezing their ass off. I don't know what kind of compromising material they have on them, baby, but it's something big. It's something a lot of money or some shit because Mitch McConnell is dead defiant on defying everything this country has to offer. He's been an obstructionist ever since Obama went into office. This man has been a thorn in our ass forever. We ain't getting laws passed. Mitch McConnell doesn't want them passed, baby. We're not getting. We're not. We're, we're not going to investigate the the the, the 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 whole Trump matter in the Senate. No, no. Mitch McConnell said it's over. He doesn't want to hear anymore. He want, doesn't want anybody coming up there testifying about the truth. He doesn't want to hear Dan McGann come up there and say, "Yeah, Donnie told me to fire Mueller." And I didn't come out of his mouth. Mitch McConnell doesn't want that. Donnie doesn't want that. The little cockroaches on that side, the Republican Party and the minions that followed them, they don't want the truth, baby. They want a lie they can keep telling, a con they can keep playing until they bilk every dollar out of this country. You bet your ass they're going to turn on. Oh, they're going to fight for that Citizens United. My God, that's that's a right to the money is has a right to vote. And while corporations shovel money up these people's ass, the populace suffers, baby. The citizens of this country suffer at the hands of those lobbyists. We need to take our country back, baby. We need a we need it. We need people on the street like you wouldn't believe. We need to see it 10 times what the women showed us. We need to stand in the street to, 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 to protest this crap, to show these, these assholes up in our house that they cannot have a coup. You talk about a coup? That they say the Democrats are trying to commit a coup? No, baby. It's the Republican Party trying to turn this country into a fascist nation, a fascist country where corporations and big money make the decisions and rule the world, baby. And your piddly ass better get out there and start turning your cog, baby. Because for the machine to work, we are all but little cogs in there. And we all have to go out and do our, do our diligence every day. We have, to, we have to go provide for our families. Do your job. To all those at the top, flip you the bird. I don't want to be that country, baby. I don't want that in my, in my nation. We have a long, hard history of fighting for what is right. And this is a big fight, baby. It's the, it's the fight between democracy and fascism, plain and simple. It's, it's a fight for the rule of law, for the Constitution. We need to win this fight, people. There is no second place in this shit. Second place, our country goes down the tube. We need to come together big time. We need to select the right nominee. We need to uh, vote for him. We need to get your ass out and vote regardless of what. It is a fight, baby. And when you fight, you fight for the win. They are doing lying and cheating and all that shit down here in Texas. They're trying to 
pass a law down here, baby, that more no more than three people can show up in a car to come vote. If there's four people in there, none of y'all can vote. It's against the law. Not even handicapped people. You can't bring old people or handicapped people up there to vote in these vans. We get them out of the nursing home to go vote. No. No, that's cheating, the Republicans say. Doesn't matter if it's grandma. Doesn't matter who it is. Black, poor, it doesn't matter, baby. You don't have a right to vote. It's by the, it's by the glory of the Republican Party that you're even allowed to do so. Because if they had their way, baby, we'd be right back to the poll tax and only, only white landowners would be voting. And none of us would own the land, baby. Land always belongs to somebody else. Anyway, another shooting in our country, and we do squat. Just like the last time, we'll all sit around and wonder how long before the next one, where will the next one be, how many will it be. We'll get to play this whole freaking shit show again some other school and watch some other parents have to grieve for their child watch students come out of a building frightened to death when they went in there to do nothing but learn yeah baby get your gun anywhere that's the right they fight for that's second amendment baby they hold that dear to their heart than anything else including their children it's a disgusting future that lies ahead of us if we don't take control of this nation and take it back from a wannabe dictator. For those that sell us out to the lobbyists and, and big corporations and shit, baby, this is our country, and we need to fight for it. That's all I got today. Sorry I missed Monday and Tuesday. I'll be here tomorrow night. We'll go live and talk. I would have gone live today, except Mama's cooking dinner. I got to get this up, and uh, and then I'm going to relax and finish this beer and and uh, get ready for tomorrow. And that's it, baby. We'll be ready for Friday. We'll slide right into it. and uh, get So get your beer on ice if you want to smudge a little bit. That's fine. Get your button ready, and we'll be here for Friday. But tomorrow night, I'll look forward to the Blue Dot family meeting. I'll be here by myself again, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, I need it, baby. I need to talk to some people. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. John Bertabo, Blue Dot in Texas. Of Blue Dot in Texas on YouTube. John Bertabo on Facebook. John Bertabo speaks. Blue Dot family. Go by there and see. We have the JBS family. We have the Blue Dot family. There are a lot of Blue Dot pages popping up out there. I'm proud to see it. Because be proud that we are Blue Dots, baby. But we make up a big majority of us. A lot of us are in places where, where you feel out outcast, like you're the only blue dot around, baby. But look around, look over the nation, baby. We are the majority, and we need to act like it. We need to take the shit they've been doing and shoving up our butt and turn it right around and shove it right up theirs. No Vaseline, baby. Anyway, y'all take care, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.